Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. And Taurus, this is a reading for you. Let's find out what does the Taro have to say about your life, your love, and everything in between. I hope everyone is doing well. Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right, let's get started. Okay. I love what I'm seeing here. I love what I'm seeing here, Taurus. It's it's very positive. Um, wrapping up of a situation, finishing, finishing a cycle. Yeah. This could be related to your work, um, a decision you have to, you had made. Yeah. Possibly um, changing job, changing direction. Retirement, you know, you're deciding to retire for good. Um, for some of you, this could be in a form of completing a cycle at work and, and looking for new opportunities somewhere else. Uh, this could also be uh, significant in your love life, yeah, where things have been wrapped up. Um, you're done. If you have had a divorce, yeah, recently then this is the wrapping up of a of that cycle and then you're ready to embark um in a new direction right but for the most part and in a general sense i feel like you're over something yeah? you're over something and now you are wondering or you're thinking you're you're in the process of deliberating which direction to go next yeah which direction to go next in terms of the person that you have in mind, yeah, I feel like, mm, I feel like this is a situation that has, that has been going on for some time. Yeah, this is not something newly found situation, right? So this has been a connection that you have with someone that has been going on for a while. Um, nothing dramatic. Um, nothing too intense, but I feel like it's going in a smooth, slow pace type of energy. You know, you're trying to blend with each other's energy. There's no highs and lows in, in, in this connection. It's very, I should say smooth sailing, but no relationship is smooth sailing, right? But in your situation, it feels like everything is going good. Yeah. Everything is going good. Um, but I feel like you want to make a change. You want to make a redirection. Is there something that you want out of this person that you have not spoken? You have not expressed yet. A lot of things are going on in your head. A lot of things are, are, it's not your imagination, but more of you want more from or more input in terms of where do you want to direct this connection's uh, path, yeah? Do you want to stay status quo with this person? That means, are you good with whatever you have right now? If you are friendly with each other, if you are in talking terms, if you are just seeing each other, are you good with it? Yeah. Because it's been going on for... A while we have temperance it's very smooth sailing and it's been a while you know temperance is creating harmony yeah in, in each other's uh um, space or even if you're together you're trying to create harmony with one another you're just trying to blend in with one another but sometimes in relationships you only get to know each other's um, deepest feelings deepest desires and deepest uh intentions when you can truly express what you want when you can truly be yourself to each other right and in that sense you need to be able to express what you want uh, regardless of what the other person may respond yeah you should be open yeah being authentic with your thoughts and desires especially if you're aiming for relationship for togetherness, for marriage. This is Ten of Pentacles and the Empress. This is really solid relationship. And I feel like the person that you're dealing with, 
this is someone who who knows that you are happy being with them you enjoy the time spending you know you enjoy the time you spend with them um and whenever you're together you enjoy each other yeah there is a lot of emotional bits of emotional fulfillment every now and then um this person Taurus wants everything with you yeah they want that commitment they want or this person desires that commitment with you they desire that relationship they want to be with you for good they want to be with you for good and i feel like they're enjoying the time that they have with you now you know what i don't see any problem in this reading because it's really positive now let's just open up let's open up more um more cards here why is Taurus then thinking about redirection? Why are you feeling like you are at the crossroads right now if everything else is going smoothly, at least on the other person's perspective, right? Let's see. Ah, you want things to be done differently. There is something here that... Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, this is a situation where... Um, this is a situation where things have been, like I said, smoothly, right? But things have been at a status quo for some time. Yeah. And perhaps you or them are wondering, is this how it's going to be forever? Because everything feels good. Everything feels okay. Yeah? Everything feels okay. But is this how it's going to be forever? One of you here is thinking about wanting perhaps to um, redirect yeah, the situation. Redirect this connection. If you are dating right now, I feel like you're considering um, more out of that dating experience. You're wanting more. You want to build a life together. So it could be even, you know, if you're dating, but you live in, in different houses, um, you, Taurus, might be thinking, what would be the next step? Are we moving in together? Or this person would continue to just date me forever? <laughs> or this person would propose sometime, someday in the future, you know? On your end, you have those thoughts, yeah? Primarily because you know that if it is, if this person is wanting the same thing as what you want, you expect them to lead. Yeah. You expect them to lead the situation. So if things are going good right now, but it's status quo, dating is good and all that, you may want to elevate. You may want to escalate to another level, right? But you're hoping that this person will, will propose that. You're hoping that this person will propose that. And you know what? I feel like this person is willing to transform the connection you have right now into something better, into something that you want. They're willing to transform it. This person's desire is to make you happy. And they have thought about, you know, or they have thought about or imagined about their life with you in the future. They know that with you, they can be comfortable, they can be confident on their own, um, uh, confident being themselves with you, and they're confident that in the future, you will have a good, um, mellow, um, stable outcome. Yeah. Somehow I feel like that this is what this person is, is um, considering. So they are willing to transform the situation with you. Yeah, if you want to escalate this to a higher level, perhaps it's more about just letting this person know that you want. You <laughs> Sometimes it's also not good to say, oh, I want a proposal, you know. But this is what I'm, I'm kind of seeing right now. You're dealing with someone who is good to be with, but somebody too who needs to lead rather than a follower in a situation, right? I see that this person is having passionate desires. Yeah, it could be like you could possibly expect this person to be more um, 
passionate towards you in the next uh, couple of weeks. That means touchy, feely, and all that, which is normal, especially if you have been going on in this situation for quite a while, right? Okay, I think that's about it. I'm, I'm not going to draw more cards anymore because these are all positive. So it's, it's more like things are going to be escalated as, as if um, more so if you haven't really spoken about it. Um, I think conversation has to take place. Here, what I'm seeing is more about the feelings, the wanting deep inside of two people dating or together and living that um, stable type of life. Yeah. But you need, like I said in the beginning, you need to have some perks. You know, the ups and downs of life actually makes the relationship more meaningful. It doesn't mean that with drama, you make things more meaningful. But sometimes conflict, you know, if you have conflict, all conflicts are not bad. Conflict sometimes can be good in order for both of you to dissect the situation in, in a much better way. And you get to learn each other's um, pure intentions in the long run. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and let me know if this resonates in the comment section below. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe.